A letter to God. Dear Father, I'm writing you because I really don't have any strength left. I've talked to you about my problems so many times, and so far, I haven't received an answer. Or maybe I've received an answer, but I haven't allowed it to enter into my heart. What can I do to be free? Leave everything behind and follow you? But how will I be able to do this? Lord, teach me like a child who knows very little. It seems to me that I've reached bottom so many times. I'm afraid that I'm standing at a chasm and I will fall into the abyss, that hell will swallow me up. After all, I don't want this, but something keeps drawing me back. Father, please give me strength. I don't want to feel sorry for myself, but I need your help. I am too weak. I am begging you. My conscience bothers me. My heart is bleeding from sorrow. You gave me life. A beautiful wife and wonderful children. I have a job, a roof over my head, and so many other things. But I'm not happy. I'm not true to myself. My soul cries for rest and peace, but my body never stops lusting. Lord, hold me in your arms and never let me go. Please do this. I want to change, but I can't. I can only love you. It's the only thing I can do. My body is still as a statue, stiff and dead. I don't want a body that doesn't listen to my spirit. God, please, break my hardened heart. Break my lustfulness. Break my desires for anything that is not of you. And give me courage and your pure breath. I trust you, and I am waiting confidingly. I know that my goal to be free is so close now. Maybe that's why it's so hard. Maybe my road has to be this way, so that I'll be able to be aware of something. I don't know yet, but you have known it forever. You said the truth will set you free. And you, yes you Jesus, are the way the truth and the life. Is that the secret? What is the way to a happy life? The way, the truth, and the life? Only you, only you, Jesus, can set me free. And finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against all the spiritual forces of evil in, the heart, in heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand firm. Stand therefore, having fastened on the belt of truth, and having put on the breastplate the plate of righteousness, and as shoes for your feet, having put on the readiness given by the gospel of peace. In all circumstances, take up the shield of faith, with which you can extinguish the flames of darts of the evil one. Take up the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying at all times in the Spirit with all prayer and supplication. To that end, keep alert with all perseverance, making supplication for all the saints.